Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning into our channel again. Got some bad news. The Ranger, our beloved Ranger that you've seen in many of our videos, is now sold. We sold it to a girl and she is using him heaps. She's been away every weekend. He's living a good life, that fella now. But um, anyway, we've got a couple of little surprises up our sleeves. Um, we've purchased a new car. Anyone who follows us on social media will know that we've been putting a little bit up about it and stuff and super proud of what we've achieved with it and I'm really excited um, with what we've got planned for it. So a few people have come on board. Um, we've got Off-Road Creative doing um, just the mother of all canopies that's going on it. We've got, of course, Revolution Power decking it all out with all the electrical. And we've got EC off-road that's going to do all the body work and stuff like that on it. So I can't wait to do it. But anyway, let's introduce you to it. This is Sylvie. This is our 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500. Never in my life did I think that would have a vehicle like this. <laughs> as much as I miss the Ranger, this thing is next level. So we've done a bit of towing with it. We've had it for about four or five weeks already. The towing on this thing is just out of control. I've got over two tonne of boat on the back and it's like there's nothing there. We're in love, aren't we? We are. All right, it's booked in next week to get an exhaust, which I can't wait to get. Uh, I'm going to get electric side steps, stuff like that. So me and Sarah went down and seen Brad at Off-Road Creative down towards the Gold Coast. Um, we looked at a few different canopies. We then went down and seen Brad's and I can honestly say I haven't seen a canopy like what he does before. Um, if you head over to their page or their websites, Off-Road Creative, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. The RAM and that that they've done is just out of control does his own custom rooftop electric tent so you just press a button it sets it all up so tray canopy combined awnings fold out shower tents big water tanks uh, all central locking including the uh, fold out toolboxes uh, it's gonna have everything it's crazy and we're gonna do a full build on the whole thing so far I've only seen maybe one or two canopies that people have put together on the Chevys there's heaps of rams being done. I haven't seen a proper 1500 done yet. So I'm hoping to get in and beat everyone. And we're going to film the whole thing from start to finish. Uh, it's going to look awesome. Full color coded canopy. We fell in love with it straight away. So pretty much two days later, put down a deposit. Uh, our car's booked in in a couple of months and really struggling waiting that long. <laughs> so anyway. It's getting decked out with Revolution power gear, all lithiums, all Victron inverters, this, that. Um, and as I said before, EC off-road's gonna lift it, all suspension, take care of all that part for us. Black Bear will be in there to see the tires, so. All right, when Kale down at EC off-road does his suspension upgrade, we're gonna get the airbag man and he's whacking some airbags in here, so that is gonna be unreal for towing. That's about all I can say about this at the moment, but honestly, I can't wait. I love it, uh, it's our dream car and it's gonna get well used. It ain't gonna be treated like a princess, that's for sure. So anyway, that's our new car. Second thing I wanna run through, and this is massive, literally, is our new boat trailer. We had a Mackay trailer sitting under this and it done the job just fine, but places where we wanna go and take this, uh, that little trailer was not gonna go to those places even on the sand you know we used to be pulling the u-bolts through the sand and stuff like that so i went down and seen the boys at sea addicts boats in capella bar and they constructed this masterpiece for us have a go at this so this is one of their custom four by four trailers all right i love what he does here with the steps it allows you to just walk straight up into your boat and straight in good when you got four children. <laughs> the kids climb up all the time. That easy. So I've got Adrian from Cam Create. He's 3D scanned this whole trailer. 
We've got our emblem going up on this nice little flat bed here and he's putting some soft flooring treads up there along the top of the uh, wheel guards here. All right, so I spoke to the guys at Black Bear Tires. They said to go these semi-aggressive off-road tires, right? They're called the Rugged Terrain. They got a super, super thick sidewall. So for going down tracks and hitting gutters and whatever, these things are pretty much indestructible, all right? So that's the Rugged Terrain from Black Bear Tires. We got the KMC rims. These are a 265. It is high. This thing is high. But so far, we haven't struggled to get into any uh, boat ramps. We just have to sink it a little bit further. It drives on just perfectly. You can't really stuff it up. And um, it slides off. All I do is put it down so the water's level with this little guard here. Click it in reverse. It just slides off so easily. So it's starting to rain. Right, so the brakes on this are just a mechanical hydraulic, which so far I'm loving. Um, less trouble, a lot cheaper, and our boat's not heavy enough over that category where we had to go electric over hydraulic. Sea Addicts boys, Brent, you haven't spared uh, any expense here. He's got the extreme off-road, been awesome. It's got all adjustable heights, so you can pretty much fit it on and off any uh, hitch. Put little pockets where your things go, and if you see our trailer down the ramp, Please don't steal them. Everything's easy, comes up, hooks on, tightens up, away you go. Takes two seconds. The thing doesn't move on the trailer at all. So you can see there exactly how strong that is. That's going nowhere. That's a take anywhere trailer. So we plan to take it anywhere, don't we? Yes. When we get a little bit of time up our <laughs> sleeves, because life is insane right now so that's it we're super stoked new car new trailer can't believe it so stay tuned over the next couple of months because that build video is going to be one video okay i'm going to do one this awesome video with start to finish build of the chevy silverado 1500. anyone who wants a boat trailer that i can honestly vouch is indestructible and works exactly as it should for driving on driving off it tows amazingly. Sea Addicts boats in Capella Bar. Brent, thanks mate, I really appreciate it. You did what you said you were gonna do and uh, you built me an awesome trailer, okay? So tomorrow the weather is looking mint and so is Sunday. Me and Sezzy are gonna go and do what we do. We haven't been out for ages. We're gonna chase some blueies, okay? We're gonna chase some big blueies in a new area we haven't fished much. I'm gonna show you all about it, what to look for, everything, okay? And we're gonna show you some underwater footage of where they hang out and hopefully we can spot a few. On Sunday, I'm gonna take the jetty rats out prawning. We're gonna get a heap of prawns. And on Sunday night, can you please cook me a fish and prawn curry? I can do that for you. I might even show you a fish and prawn curry, all right? So stay tuned, this one's gonna be a banger. Thanks guys, again, I hope that doesn't come across in a show off way or anything like that. It's just, I'm super proud of what we've achieved and uh, I wanna share it with you guys, plus, He's loved boat trailers. He's loved four wheel drives with huge canopies. So that's what we're gonna show you. They wanna right. see the blueies. They wanna see the blueies. They wanna see Sarah outfish me again. <laughs> Right, I think we're going to have to get some uh, mud terrains. We're sliding down the ramp here.
We spotted this isolated rock out wide on the Garmin. We marked it, and as you'll see later, it's holding some monster fish. And not too far away from this mark, I found this drop off slash ledge. We run the drone along it later, and you won't believe what we see. Not wasting any time. Straight in. Right here, first drop. Today we're gonna to find out if Sarah actually is a good luck charm. I have a sneaky suspicion that she is, because last couple of times I've gone out without her, I've caught stuff all. But then we went out for a little quick arvo session, got a big snapper, didn't do any filming, but got a big one. I outfished her that day, but I can't prove it. So anyway, uh, we're out here at a place we haven't been much. Fished here once or twice. And uh, we got toweled up last time. So, come out here today, got a little weather window in the morning, but there's a little bit of breeze so far. Chasing blueies, again, because it's what we love doing. I was just getting bites on my first drop, so anyway. Yeah. Got the big dog out here today. 100 pound braid, 120 pound leader. All right, so we haven't got off to a great start. Sarah went and collected crabs the other day and uh, just mentioned to me then that we haven't got very many. <laughs> I did say that and you're like, oh, it looks all right. Well, my fault you did grab and, the other ones out of the Oh, now freezer. it's my fault. And uh, <laughs> our starter battery is just about to die, I think, because it's fully charged and struggling to uh, kick over. So I'm having to emergency parallel the two batteries and kick it over. But anyway, a couple of minor setbacks. See what happens. Never know what the day brings. Maybe a bit more notice about the bait next time, mate. Two seconds later, and it's got a really good bite then. Like I can feel like a tusky dog. playing with that, that's for sure. A couple of nice big thumps, and then uh, yeah, I think that crabs. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I just got absolutely toweled up, big time. Could not stop this thing. Sarah hit the GoPro, I don't know what happened. As usual, something happens with the GoPro anyway. Oh man, stopping these fish, these really big ones, is a task in itself, eh? I'm so pissed off now. I've just swapped to a bigger sinker because that one uh, wasn't holding properly, keeping having to let line out. And we're fairly shallow here. Can't figure out. You've got to, you can't give these fish an inch, like I mean, an inch, <laughs> or else they smack you. So I just got a 120 pound leader snapped between the hook and the sinker. So. Obviously they're busting us off on rocks. If it happens again, might try anchor off it a little bit, but I'd say these are 10 kilo fish, eight to 10, far out, maybe bigger. Like, just so hard to stop. This one's not as big, but... Oh, nowhere near as big as the other one. Oh. All right, well that's uh, our first one. They go so hard. That's only a small fella compared to what had me last time. Um, he's gonna come home for dinner, what do you reckon? Yes, definitely. So last time we were fishing here, the old boy fishes with two gangs as well. 
these hooks come out of his gob as I pulled him up. We fish with two gangs with Shogun Swivel in between them. Not for blueies, but for other stuff with float lining. And um, <laughs> he spat them out. This is the exact, exact same spot we come to a little while ago. Anyway, looks like Spiro's had a bit of a shot at him there on the top of his forehead. But um, He's got some stories. He has got some stories. This fellow, he's a battler. <laughs> He hasn't got any stories anymore. No. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Ooh, got a bit of weight on there. Oh, yeah, he's there. What's happening, Mrs. Bluey Slayer? Getting played with. <laughs> Try and hook him or not. Put a bit of pressure on him and I can feel pressure from my feet. Get him! Get him! Don't give him an inch, mate! Into him! Yes! Into him! That's it! Alright. Good work. You can have to manhandle him over your side. <laughs> She's back! Jesus. <laughs> I thought he was She's back. Be bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> He's big enough. He was going nowhere. Finally. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's good. All right. <laughs> I couldn't even get a wind on him the first right, time. He went, didn't he? Oh, he's all right. Yeah. It's bigger than yours. It's bigger than yours. It's bigger than yours. It's bigger than yours. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whose is bigger? That's the question. Not massive fish, but good. He didn't even bite. He was Did just he? bang. Really? Yeah. There you go. He's not a bad one. Still not what we're after, but... <laughs> Still yeah. shocks you the first time after a while. Yeah. How's that uh, after a little while of not catching a bluey? So good. I want to get down again. You sure do. And she's on. I don't think it's a bluey, but I think mm. it's a pod or something. Ooh, she's calling it a pod. Ooh, I don't know. He's growing. <laughs> better, better give you some health, eh? <laughs> it's not a bluey. It's not a bluey. Not a bluey. Alright, well, uh, still not a big fella in the 50s. That now puts her in the lead. Snuck up on me. <laughs> she didn't even know she had him. <laughs> Called it for a cod. <laughs> he anyway. didn't put up a fight. I know. Oh, well, that's good. Yep. We're going to fish high tides about 10 o'clock today. Uh, and what we're going to do is we've bought our underwater drone out. So we're actually going to give you a look underwater at what it looks like where we are. We're not fishing as ledgy sort of cave areas as we usually do. It's more like isolated rock here. And hopefully we can see some of those big buggers that have been smoking us. So, but uh, wait till the tide dies off because there's a bit of current at the moment. So another hour and a half, I might whack that drone down and have a good look around. <laughs> you got done like I did. <laughs> Sitting there with it in its mouth, tiny. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let him go. He's a little fella, isn't he? Look at the colours on that. He's still well legal, but we'll throw this one back. I believe that's two all. <laughs> Mine are bigger, but both of them. <laughs> Sarah's are bigger, I will admit. Yep, she got two if bigger ones, a but. Fishing competition right now. Yeah. I'd be winning. Depends if we go numbers or. Um, You'd be winning on length, yeah, but if we, yeah, true, or weight, you'd be winning. Okay, you're winning. Unfortunately, today we're going on numbers. <laughs> and it's to all. <laughs> all right, so we're just uh, moving along, stay at an hour each spot. Just using the structure scan. And off them, you'll see little isolated rocks and stuff like that. That's all we're doing. Might catch fish and you might not. 
That's it, like another one there, not a big fella, but um, we didn't even pull him out of the water. Literally, literally netted him and then um, and then tried to get the hook out and he wouldn't swim away. I popped his uh, bladder inside, everything. He just, that's how, that's how fragile they are. So, well, that's more than enough for a feed for us and our family. None of it goes to waste, but yeah, still, you, know, you don't have to, um, bag out on these things every time you go out they're too good but anyway nah. <laughs> oh. and she's in a whip in a whip he's only a little one <laughs> oh. <laughs> pulled hooks yeah, I we can actually it. we can Same actually size. see the bottom here where we're um where we're fishing really clear. As soon as I got the first yank on him, I can see him. Yep. Oh, huge. Oh, she's on. What happened? Cool looks on him again. Oh. <gasps> My plan is working perfectly. Oh, is it now? Yes. Alrighty -o. Got me little mate here, me mini turtle. So this is our underwater drone. We've had it for, I don't know, 18 months or something now. Yep. So we're gonna go down, have a look exactly what is down there. I know what's down there, I just dropped it twice. She's just dropped two blueies here, so I pretty much guarantee you we'll see tuskies down here. Um, yeah, and then I'll explain sort of what we're fishing and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be new to me too. Anyway, we'll whack this down and have a go. Get down. Get down. Yeah. It was no surprise to me that a little red emperor was the first to greet me on the way down. However, I was surprised to see four of his mates come and say hello, and a view that could easily be mistaken for an underwater aquarium. These fellas love to show off in front of the camera. And when out on the flats, these are the guys who show me the way back to the structure. And it wasn't long until Buffett here and his little mate come to check out what all the fuss was about. This fella would be around that seven kilo mark, one of the prettiest fish you'll see above and below the water. Then I spotted this fella, 10 plus kilos of brute blue bone. And you can tell by his Pac-Man face. And that power right there, that's what's busted us off so many times. The ground here is so beautiful, almost resembling an underwater volcano. And the good thing about the drone is the marine life is totally at ease and completely themselves. Take for instance this huge shovel nosed shark, which says he is also able to watch on her iPhone. A few grass tuskies and a large cod chill out nearby. I wonder if anyone has got this close to a shovel nosed shark this big before, because this fella was acting like it happens every day. I think all this sand I've been kicking up with the drone has made him sneeze. Oh, look at the size of that bluey. Oh, sorry, mate. Now, if you're a fan of Moses Perch, do I have a spot for you? Now, there's one of two things this fella is doing. He's either cleaning off the protective mucus they have at night, or he's scavenging for food in the sand. My guess is feeding, as their bellies are always full of sand grit. And along comes another bluey, just carelessly going about his business. I could honestly watch these fellas all day.
Here he even stops, pauses and heads back towards me. Now this rock here is the same isolated rock I showed you guys on the structure scan earlier in the video. And in the distance is a huge bull shark. And to the right is a huge bluey. I'd be tipping this fella as over the 10 kilo mark and grazing well away from any structure. Now here's a predicament for a Spearow. Do you spear the bluey and hope to God the huge bull shark isn't going to collect his quarterly bass statement? Or do you let them both swim away gracefully? Then I found this dude riding the East Coast current and I tried to see if he was a male or female, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Now for everyone that calls a bluey a parrot, I have news for you. That's a parrot and that's a bluey. And not just any bluey, by far the biggest bluey we've seen all day and perhaps the biggest I've ever seen on camera. This guy would be pushing 12 kilos and a true line breaking tackle busting behemoth of a fish and something I've dreamt about for many many years. Seeing it here completely natural, almost, makes me want to change my mind about catching them. And there's a little taste of the power that he possesses. Not to be outshone by this still huge fish, she just can't help herself. It's got to see what this new thing under the water is. Now here's a very interesting bit of information. This shark followed us over 600 metres from the last spot to this spot. We were doing 12 knots because I had the electric motor down and sounding around on the way. So I'd say the rumours are true. Sharks will follow the sound of your boat if you're not travelling too fast. So we got the hell out of there. Righto, back to where we started. And straight away, three sizeable blueies. So this is where we decided to test our theory. Alrighty, we've moved a little bit away now, back to where we first started this morning. Um, this doesn't look nowhere near as hectic as back there, rock-wise, but there seems to be a decent amount of big fish here. So all we're fishing is a bit of this rubbly ground see here on the Furuno. You can tell this is rubble just by how it's a bit softer up through these bits. You know, you can see the actual bottom there and then you can see all the rocky sort of stuff there. So it's definitely rock below us. So we, what we've done there is we've dropped the drone down. We've located probably three or four pretty big blueies uh, on the drone. They don't have a GPS function built into them so you can't mark where you are so what i do when that happens is because you're only in fairly shallow water as soon as i see a good area or whatever i want i aim the drone to the surface i swim it straight up and then i spot it with the boat i drive straight up to it and i spot lock on it and mark it so that's what we've done there's not much run at the moment at all so i'm not expecting too much but i know about 10 meters behind this boat there's at least three blueies that are eight to 10 kilo. So um, we're gonna sit here for an hour or two, see if anything happens. And if it does, I think I've just uh, invented the greatest way of fishing ever. <laughs> Some may call it cheating, I call it, well, cheating, yeah. But very uh, innovative, smart way to catch fish. <laughs> Let's see if it works. I thought I'd do a little run through again with our lithium batteries because they've been by far the most asked question in our entire boat. Um, so we've had them for about a year now. We've got three 100 amp hour uh, lithium batteries from Revolution Power. 
and they have been unreal. Before this, we had five AGMs in the boat. It's just way too much um, weight being 40 kilos each. So, you, you know, you got 200 kilos worth of battery. So we took four of those batteries out and we put three lithiums in and we've now got twice the power. So the boys at Revolution put the converter in to convert the 12 volt lithium setup to my 36 volt trolling motor. So the trolling motor runs off the lithium batteries as well as the whole house. So my sounders, stereo, all our charging gear, the fridge, everything. Everything runs off those lithiums now and it is so good. I got an extra 0.2 kilometers per litre uh, so it went from 1.6 to 1.8 kilometers per litre at a cruise speed of 25 knots. And um, so I'm saving money there every single trip. Uh, and at the moment, it feels over $2, so that's a lot. So we've been out here for six hours now. Uh, we're fishing in about 16 metres of water and not at the moment because it's slack tide. That's why I'm doing this. Find the fish don't bite then, but... Um, We've been using 16 ounce snapper leads to hold the bottom. So there's been a fair bit of current where we are. Uh, it's been, that troll motor has been working really hard. We've had our electrics on all day. I've been charging all my GoPro batteries and that. I've got my fridge on as well. And we're sitting, still sitting at 72%. We're only just a quarter through our battery life. And we've been out here for six hours. <laughs> it's good, eh? And because my AGM start battery has now shit itself, by the looks of it, uh, we're paralleling and the lithiums are kicking it over as well. So as soon as I get home, I'll be getting a, another uh, start battery. But anyway, anyone who's thinking about going lithium, the Revolution power batteries have been awesome for us. Dave and the boys there have been really supportive with any questions that we've had. So uh, I highly recommend them. All right, so that's a year, no dramas. Alrighty, so it's been half an hour since uh, we dropped our baits down and we haven't got a bite. So I know 100% that there's blueies under us, so they're obviously just not on the tube. The current is only just starting to run now. I hate fishing when there's no current. I like the run, so it'll be interesting to see what it does here in the next hour. Get him up! Oh, now, babe. Oh, you're all right. Oh, shit. You're all right. Mate, no. yeah. Good, good, good. You do it. You do it. I you can't do. get anything on him. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah. Thanks, babe. I had nothing on him. Grab the net. He's a proper one. Nah, with, he's, that's a team effort. Okay, look, you've seen this, he's all, he's all seen that. <laughs> Let's give you a look. <laughs> he didn't want to come away from that ledge, Joey. Oh, as soon as he had me around the motor, I was gone. There's a real bluey. <laughs> look at him. That was hectic. That's one of the fellas that we had on the drone before. Definitely. He's still not the biggest one out of them. But that is a good blue. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Teamwork. He's yours. That's teamwork. He's yours. Yep, he's another yep. big one. Oh, alrighty. He's on again. Oh. oh. Go, Bobby. Get him. You're alright. Don't panic. Just once you get him up. He's giving up the ghost now. He's a good fish. Go easy on the pullback now. You've got him up. Have a go of this thing. She's done it again. 
Far out, girl. Look at the size of this thing. This is my foot. Right, we've had to pull the pin now. Um, we're going to start heading back. Please didn't want to catch any more fish. We've, we've got enough. So, um, yeah, anyway, we're going to head back now. I'm going to take the jetty rats out prawning tomorrow, so stay, in stay tuned for that. Uh, all right, we're going to head back to the ramp, pull this girl out. We've got some filleting to do when we get home. Oh, How good was that? Fun part. That was good. We needed that. Did that uh, replenish your hunger for yeah, blueies? Yeah, I was actually getting to a point where I thought they don't exist anymore. And we forgot how to fish for them. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been out in a fair while. So anyway, at the start of the day, I said, let's see if Sarah's my good luck charm. Oh, yeah. I dare say she is. <laughs> Be honest. Uh, that was that was all time. That was <laughs> she won. She beat me, even though she hooked that big one. It's still hers. So <laughs> she was using claws. So I'll give you a little tip. She was using the claws of the crab. Yeah, which I, I was using use. the whole crab. So there's a little tip for you. Maybe just try using the claws. Anyway, see you back at the ramp. Right, uh, come out prawning, Sunday. Got the big dog. There we go. Young fellas got one. Few boats. We're uh, waiting for the prawns to come up at the moment. There's not much there, but they'll come. All right, so high tide. What's the time now? 11:30. High tide's quarter past 12. Usually, right on top of the tide, half an hour to an hour after. So we're bit early. Boys are nitpicking through a couple of ones and two casts, but hopefully they come on. There's probably about 60 or 70 boats out here already. Look who's here. Give us a laugh. Give us a laugh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. We've got the rats. We've got the dogs. Oh, we've moved away from the pack oh, trying to look. One. Oh, he got one. Oh, look at that. Oh, mate. That's dinner. She's a winner. That's dinner. <laughs> winner winner prawny dinner not much happening yet um big fella's keeping us amused but oh yeah give us a laugh <laughs> give us a laugh <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, well. all right give it give it a bit of time promise sarah some prawns so she can make a fish and prawn curry tonight Tiny little dribs and drabs of prawns, not much at all. Uh, we've come over a little tiny bit more of a show of prawns. Hopefully, they might be starting to come up out of the mud. Let's see what happens with the boys. That's a good sized prawn. Picking them up singly, we are. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? I've just got these ones. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, parents with children growing because I'm going through it now my daughter's about to go into high school next year and I'm like stop growing you'll remember Jai from a year ago if you don't this is him yeah we only got one prawn today you that's your share is it yeah that's how many you got I'll have it one here one here and one here you have your head one for your mum one for your dad one for you yeah <laughs> how many did you get Kate? not much just oh yeah right have a look at a difference a year makes just stop growing, mate. That's all he is. Talk. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's growing every time I see him. Give us a laugh, Porto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right, go, boys. Oh, yep. Nah, joking. <laughs> We're not getting many at all, but have a, have a go at this. When you do, the size of them. Whoa. Oh, 
got me on my foot, mate. They're good prawns. All right, starting to come back on now. You should have a couple there, mate. I reckon this so. This fella can throw some circles, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, I can feel them. Hey. Oh, look at that. Look at the triangle. There's not heaps, but they're huge prawns. Oh, that was a good one. Not many, but huge prawns. That's how big they are. That's your dinner. What have you got here, mate? I've got a photo of that. <laughs> hey, this fella, hey! <laughs> big prawns. The size of them. My bra! Where's my bra? Yeah, Righty-o, <laughs> that's it for prawning. Um, it wasn't great, but I tell you what, they were awesome sized prawns. Uh, probably the biggest I've seen this early in the season. Anyway, I'll give you a quick sneak peek at them. Sneak peek? Sneak peek. Sneak peek? Yeah, sneak peek. Just laugh. Sneak peek. Just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Really, really good size. A few small ones mixed in. That's all right, eh? Yeah, bro. Happy with that. <laughs> Whoop. Let's go this one. Right, um, go back. Fish and prawn curry. It's tasty. Come on. Stop growing, mate. There you go, as promised, a blue bone and prawn curry. All right, so Sezzy, you're a master chef, mate. Thank you. She's an amazing cook. Anyway, she puts puppetums with them. And what you do, which one's yours? That one on there. Oh, I'll take a bit of yours. <laughs> you whack the rice and a bit of fish and a prawn into the puppetum. Thanks for eating mine. I'm not going to waste mine on filming. <laughs> the poppadoms make it, I am. The curry's amazing, but having that texture with it inside the poppadom, really good. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. Bit of informative stuff, bit of new stuff, what's happening in our lives, bit of new ground for blueies, and uh, we've got a few prawns. So thanks heaps for tuning in again. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, if you want to grab any merch, we've got all those new jackets. Hats are restocked, shirts are restocked, everything's in. So um, however you can support us, be much appreciated. Cool. Thank you. Bye. If you enjoyed this episode and are keen to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.